Welcome to the Arefco Service Group YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe and ring that bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Pictorial diagrams and ladder schematics have long been the primary types of electrical drawings used by manufacturers to communicate to technicians the intended sequence of operation for the equipment. However, you will encounter other forms of wiring diagrams in your career. The international style of wiring diagram has become more common in the HVACR industry in recent years. Leaders in science and technology worldwide have used the system for international style of wiring diagram, sometimes called SI. Within that system, the power source is drawn through the middle of the wiring circuit. The low voltage control circuit is shown above the power source, and the line voltage circuitry is shown below the power source. To illustrate the difference between the SI method and the more traditional pictorial diagrams and ladder schematics, this slide illustrates the same simple circuit in each style. When reading either the ladder schematic or the SI wiring diagram, you should be able to determine the following sequence of operation for this equipment. When L1 disconnect is closed, the, transform the transformer is powered. When FS is closed, the IBR coil is energized. At this point, the normally closed contacts open and the normally open contacts close. The BM runs at high speed. When FS is open, the IBR coil is de-energized. At this point, the normally closed contacts remain closed and the normally open contacts remain open. When FC is closed, the BM runs on low speed. The type of diagram you encounter on the job de depends on the equipment manufacturer. Regardless of the style of wiring diagram used, the rules for reading the schematic remain the same. As you practice the art of reading di wiring diagrams, your skills will improve. Point-to-point -point diagrams show the actual physical wiring connections as they are made at the factory. Because it is difficult to trace individual circuits, these diagrams are not intended to be used for determining sequences of operation or for troubleshooting. For example, consider the point-to-point -point drawing for a heat pump circuit shown on this slide. It would be extremely difficult to follow the sequence of operation. Notice how much easier it is to determine the sequence of operation when reading the ladder schematic. You can see why ladder schematics are better suited for, the use, as, for use as troubleshooting tools rather than point-to-point -point diagrams. You can think of a wiring diagram as a roadmap of an electric circuit. It is estimated that 75% of all service calls involve electrical troubleshooting, so obviously it is extremely important that you learn how to read wiring diagrams correctly. Diagrams can be used for systematically troubleshooting problems in a circuit. The most common types of wiring diagrams are the pictorial diagram and the ladder schematic. The pictorial diagram shows the general location of electrical circuits in the control cabinet. The latter schematic shows the sequence of operations for the system. International wiring diagrams has gained in popularity among many manufacturers of HVACR equipment. Regardless of the type of wiring diagram used, the rules for reading a schematic remain unchanged. Practice is important for success as a service technician. Take every opportunity you can to practice reading electrical schematics and your troubleshooting skills will improve dramatically.